Now we want to look at the two algebraic ways we have for solving systems of equations. The first way is called the substitution method. And you would do here exactly what you would expect to do, which is substitute. Now I've got the steps written out here for you. We're going to go through them step by step so you know what we're doing. The first step is you solve one of these equations for either of the variables. Now it doesn't matter which one you solve for, but you want to be smart about it. Like if I solve this first guy for x, think about the steps you have to take to get x by itself. You just have to add y, and that's no big deal. If you solve for y, though, you have to subtract the x, and then you have to divide by the negative. Now, dividing by the negative isn't bad, but we all know that the more steps we have, the more places we have for making mistakes. We'll look at the second guy. If I try to solve this guy for x, that means I have to move the y over, but then I still have this coefficient of 2 I have to get rid of, which means I would divide everybody by 2. And by doing that, I create fractions, and that's probably not going to go well for us. If I solve for y, I just have to move the 2x over, and that's nice and easy. So looking at this, trying to pick one of these equations to solve for one of the variables, I would pick either solving the first guy for x or the second guy for y. Now, I think I know where you guys are going to go. You would probably want to take this guy and solve it for y, because that's where you, what you're used to doing. So if I do that, we understand that this guy becomes y equals negative 2x plus 4, just solving it for y. I just subtracted 2x on both sides. Now look at the second step. It says you substitute the equivalent expression into the other equation. That means I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to plug it into the other one. And this is how you plug it in. We've done something like this already. We were working with a perimeter word problem. I'm saying that y equals negative 2x plus 4. That means that y is the same as negative 2x plus 4. So any place that I see y, I can take the y away and put in its equivalent, which is negative 2x plus 4. Notice it says in the other equation. So if I look at the other equation, which is x minus y equals 5, I'm going to take this guy right here, and instead of writing the y, I'm going to replace it with the negative 2x plus 4. So I'm going to replace just the y right here with what it equals, negative 2x plus 4. So I'm going to have this guy, x minus the y gets replaced with negative 2x plus 4 because in this problem we show that y is the same as negative 2x plus 4. Well once I've done my substitution I just have to do the solving here. You had two different equations with two variables x and y. Now you have just one equation with one variable. So when I work this out make sure you distribute the negative correctly. That becomes a positive 2x minus 4, and that equals 5. Well, combine like terms. 3x minus 4 equals 5. If I add the 4 over, so that's a plus 4 over here, so that becomes a 9. And divide both sides by 3, I get x equals 3. Well, do not box this guy. I'm just going to put a little thought bubble around here, which means He's part of my answer, but he's not the answer. We said that solutions to systems were ordered pairs, so you have to give an ordered pair. Three is not an ordered pair, it's part of it. Well, here's what we know. It says use the known coordinate to find the other coordinate. Well, you plug it back into one of the original guys up here. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. If I plug it into this first guy, here's what we have. So this was x minus y equals 5. I'm going to replace the x with 3, and then I have an equation to solve. And then I get y by itself. So this is 3 minus y equals 5. Subtract the 3 over. Negative y equals positive 2. Then I divide both sides by negative 1. And y equals negative 2. 
So this again is not my answer. This is part of my answer. When I take my y value and my x value together, then that gives me the ordered pair 3, negative 2. And if you remember from the other video, that was the same solution that we got when we solved it by graphing. And there we have it. Now there's another algebraic method we have for solving these guys. And that's called the elimination method. So let's, uh, let's look at that guy. Here are the steps for the elimination method. Okay. So you check out these steps and let's write your problem again. x minus y equals 5 and the other equation 2x plus y equals 4. Now the elimination method, I've got a little note here in red. Uh, you should only use this with equations that are in standard form. And remember that standard form uh, looks something like this. AX plus BY equals C. That is our standard form. You've got both the variable terms on the left and the constant term on the right. If it's in standard form, this is some of the easiest stuff that we do. It says multiply one or both equations by a constant so that a variable will cancel when the equations are combined. Look at this right now. If I try to combine everything on the left, I would get 3x, but these y's would cancel. And then of course I get 9 on the right side. So what we get to do is that if you get somebody to cancel, you're in good shape. So these guys cancel, become 0. I have 3x equals 9, which means, of course, that x equals 3. So x equals 3, and I find out what y is. Now, the last time up here, notice that I plugged my 3 into x minus y equals 5. Just so you know that I'm not playing games with you, you can plug it into the other equation, the 2x plus y equals 4. So if I replace this x with 3 and solve for y, I should get the same value that I had before. Well, I get 6 plus y equals 4. And when I subtract 6 on both sides, we get that y equals negative 2. And again, when I combine these coordinates, I come up with the ordered pair 3, negative 2. Now, what you'll want to do is look at the other videos that are in this particular playlist about systems of equations. There are videos about solving with the substitution method and also solving with the elimination method. So check those out and see what you think.